Look you at can't this. be on staff like me. I'm perfect. After, after I finish commentating, I'm going to take this off, put on my staff shirt, and go back to a stream running for you guys. But right now, that's them. This is now Psycho Maiko playing Falcon Uno. Falcon? Or Falco, rather. There you go. Uno playing Rob. All right, Uno. Dos. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Tres. Hey, man. All I'm, saying, all I'm saying is that if your name is Uno and, and, and you're not number one, I don't know, man. And I don't, I don't know about this matchup. He's actually doing a great job already using this reflector to, like, the full capabilities. But, uh, I mean, Rob just combos Falco so hard. And also, like, as soon as Rob gets in, it's just like... I, and he doesn't even have to work to get in, yeah. though. He just, like, sits out and shoots his projectiles forever. But Psycho's been, like, nailing these reflectors. He's actually... Falco has a top now, actually. That, that, that's his top. I one. mean, it's what it's looking like, honestly. Yeah. The up air, the beat boot going to connect. Oh, okay. The side B, though, changing sides. With the back air from Uno. Ooh, falling fair. Through the platform, missing the grab here. All right. Are we playing soccer? Oh, he figured out. He's like, what if I just don't throw the top? <laughs> and if, then, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> the game got a lot easier what for... What if I just do nothing? <laughs> yeah, the game just got a lot easier for Uno. Who apparently is playing for 6WX, so shout out to 6WX. Oh, goodbye. You're dead. Great weight on that air dodge. That's and that's one of those things that Rob gets on Falco. Falco has to pick between air dodge and not air air dodge. Falco can't jump out. He can't. It's it's always a 50-50 yep. out of down throw. At least at the high percents when it's gonna kill. Mm -hmm. 160 percent the down tilt. All right, good punish. Not getting all that down smash. Good damage. Give me that. <laughs> that <laughs> is We're mine. Catch. That belongs to We're me. Playing catch, bro. I will take that. Uh-oh. Oh, he threw it the okay. wrong way! He had a no, chance! We're good. we're good. Get off of me. Get off of me. <laughs> Down tilts. Coming through once again. All right, hold, hold that shield. shield. Yep. Oh, you could have got the punish, though. That would have been awesome. What? Ooh, catching it. They're literally playing catch with us. They're playing a mini game. Yeah. That's that's a lot of fun. Isn't it? Especially when you, if you could like integrate like glide tossing and all that in. Oh, okay. Oh. Asami looking for the down air. Not going to hit. He had the, oh, the back throw. Caught Shots. Him. Uno actually had the ledge set up for an up smash, and he just like didn't do it. It was really weird because he put the he put the gyro on the ledge, and it forced Psycho to roll. And then all he had to do was run in an up smash at that spot, and he just didn't do it. Ooh, oh, the laser all gets right. him. You got one. Sniped. Mine's bigger. Size matters. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. You guys learn right here. Size matters. Size matters, man. My shot was bigger. I win. Shout out to Uno. <laughs> and his big laser. <laughs> Giant laser. Giant man. laser, man. Huge laser, He's man. He's packing. <laughs> oh, right man. now. I mean, That's what we call esports commentary. Esports commentary, man. I mean, this is VG2, man. We can, uh, <laughs> VG2. We can VG2, man. Man, we, we don't do that VG1 it's, nonsense. It's like ESPN2 where it's like I don't think ESPN is aware of ESPN2's activities. <laughs> Like, I think they just do whatever they yeah. want. ESPN 8, the Ocho. The Ocho, man. <laughs> the God. The I Ocho. Would, I would, the Ocho would be on my television every day. If that was real. Okay. <laughs> Game 2, they baby. both switch characters. Okay. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> this is right. not the matchup we just watched. All right, so, so Uno was like, all right, I don't want to play... Rob anymore. I'll play Diddy. So wait, uh, Uno was just like, hey, did you see how I just won that game? Nah. Nah. Let's Diddy. go Diddy. And then he was like, alright, well, I'm a counter pick too. My Cloud. My Cloud Strife. Dreamland is also the counter pick, so we have a completely new game here. Completely new matchup. So we'll see how this pans out. Well, he's got his limit now already. Of course, one finishing touch, and that's a dead Diddy. And Diddy's at low enough percent where he might be able to combo into it. Yeah, you want to do falling up air to... Uh, uh, oh! No, you're fine, man. <laughs> I thought he finishing touch down there. No. I was like, what are you doing? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, you got to send a message. <laughs> the nine iron up smash not going to take it. Yeah, falling up air to... Ooh, oh, down smash! Spot dodging the Diddy down smash just helped him out so much there. All right, we back. Up into the grab. Forward air going to be power shielded. Toss. He actually landed on stage too. Kind of surprised. And he's gonna get that limit, probably fully charged here. Got that stat boost, and now he might have to use his uppy again. Yep. Uno doing a great job of as soon as that limit's charged, he just gets him off stage and forces him to use that limit up B, so it's gone immediately. Okay, forward air going to connect here. 
And the Ooh, S-Mask connects Uno with a stock lead. All right. And Uno, of course, in rage, and he has to be very careful not to get hit by these up airs. Nice forward air, but it's not enough to kill. 159% now. Ooh, and the up air does kill, so we're, we're back to one stock apiece in this game two. Psycho Michael really wanting to make sure he can take this to a game three. He's got limit online. Down tilt going to going to whiff here. Get him nothing, yeah. <laughs> and both of them just feeling each other out. The side be off stage by accident. Forced the up be back. Oh, he he meant to up smash there. He saw the side B come in and he would have actually landed a sick up smash. out here uno 81 percent and the okay. down throw fair can he get this edge guard no he's not he doesn't like to go off stage i've started to know oh my Ooh. gosh that was that was the hardest of reads i don't know about that i don't know man. he was reading a different book and but the down air actually catches him goodbye uno from the top the spike the, the spike that sends you up yeah exactly it's much it's a lot it reminds me of that link down air that we've been seeing since you know day one right since smash 64 comes in Knocks you straight up. All right. I mean, not for us. Yeah. What is for, that? For everyone else. What? Why? What is that? I challenge everybody. Oh. Okay. So now here's the question. Both of them switch characters. All right. Thank you so much, Fendi. Both of them switch characters. Who's gonna switch back for game three? All right, just so you know, guys, for everybody watching. All right, so the word of the day for every other caster today is abrasive. They were supposed to use the word abrasive during their commentary. You're going to just tell that to everyone? Yeah. That way, if they don't use it... Do we have to do it now? We've no, got like 10 good. minutes. We're good. Okay. It's for everybody else, man. All right, here we go. Duck Hunt is going to be your counter pick, And here we go. We have the two characters that have won a game in this set. Which one's better? All right, we're about to find out. I mean... Here's the thing, Mr. Eric was actually talking to me about this matchup specifically. He thinks that it can go either way depending on... It's more dependent on how the cloud plays than it is on the actual matchup itself. Because if the if the cloud is naturally very campy and waiting for his uh, waiting for his uh, limit to break, then Rob will actually be able to effectively tack on damage throughout the neutral and ultimately be able to win, usually. But if the cloud is super aggressive, always going for down tilts and grabs, then it's really hard for Rob to keep cloud off. I'd also like to point out that one of the biggest problems Uno was running into in game one was the fact that Falco could reflect his gyro. We don't have a reflector anymore, so he can just camp away with all the projectiles as long as he wants. But Psycho Michael's actually putting on a hell of a lot of damage. He's playing so smart now that he has his limit charge, he's just jumping all over the place, putting out hitboxes. Virtually even here in percent. Duck Hunt. Actually, we haven't even talked about how the fact that they, this man's using Duck Hunt. Like, like I don't really, I don't really see a lot of uh, players usually uh, opt for this stage. Actually, missing the Uno the just setup there. doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know about the gyro setup near the ledge. He keeps putting the top down in the right spot, and then his opponent rolls in, and he doesn't up smash. But either way, he still gets the up air off the top, so he's got a nice lead. What? <laughs> what was okay. that? Down throw air dodge? <laughs> and it worked too. That's the worst part. And he's starting to run away with this game. <laughs> Uno has the momentum here. The character that won him game one. Will it win him game three? We well, should have won game two to be completely honest. But you know, what then is then, what now is now the bench press up air. Not going to take it just yet. Oh, grab him, please. Oh, come on. He, he spots out like four times. Is Psycho up. Michael is actually, both of these players have actually rolled towards each other, ended up in front of the other one, and then spot dodged instead of just grabbing them. Like they panic when people roll towards them. I mean, I'm glad Controller Chaos is here because both these players are going to need new triggers. Like, <laughs> they might be mashing that right trigger. Oh, okay. That definitely could have been an up smash punish, but opting not to do that for fear of getting punished. I mean, you have an extra stock, man. You have, you have time to start swinging. Watch your shield. 
Yeah, his shield's low. He wanted real bad that limit, but this is what he gets. He gets up aired off the top, and Uno wins the set. Great stuff to him. Huh? It's not? I don't think you're I don't know. Oh. Okay. Guys, we are definitely nearing the end of our wave. And is Osiris sitting back down? Oh, okay. He's in Lucius. They're in the same pool? Yo, let's go. These are two players that are actually already played on stream. Smash and here we God go. And Osiris. Osiris. Two MDVA natives. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, man. I'm calling this one right now. Smash Gods will win if he plays Corrin the whole time. All right, so guys, this is the last match you guys will see.